So it says to remove the left side, start on the left side, whatever reason, I had to remove that brace I had in there. Remember, I had the Acrebi tank. So I just did, I just did that, I removed that, that quarter down there. Also, you're gonna have to remove the plastic fins. So I've got this side removed. Side still on. Um, let's see. You'll need a, I believe it's a four, yeah, a four millimeter Allen. And here's the, what the parts look like. Then the parts out. You get these two shorter pieces, and all these are the same length. And it's. Saying the support up there, leave those ones blank, then the short rod, then the long. So I have to figure it out because I have that fan on that side. I don't know if that means I won't be able to keep my fan or what. So, you know, I'll see how all this goes on. Of course, the fan might still fit in between the two different mounting rods or may have to leave one out. I, I have no idea. So that would be something I'll be giving a tip on. We have a fan. I think I might just leave that radiator. It's a little bashed in but it doesn't leak and it's not twisted. It's just a little bashed in. I have an extra but you know I don't want to go through doing the coolant right now. So anyways I'll come back with uh, any more tips and as I go through this install. So stay tuned. So I'm back with the Unibiker radiator guard for the XR650R. Let's just shine some light in there. So what you have is you have this upper bar, you have this lower bar, or mid bar, and then the lower bar. And then you got same length, bar down there, bar up here. Note this is the left side of the bike. So you're like, well, where's those two short bars go? I haven't put it in yet. It goes across right there. And then another one down lower in there. Let's see if I can see the hole down there. It actually goes across the uh, subframe. And it's going to mount into the other radiator guard on the other side. Why did they do this? I have no idea. But, man, that's going to be one solid unit, huh? Going all the way across like that. So... Depending on how beat up your radiator is, will probably depend on how hard this is to install. That was, I would say, slightly difficult for the left side. Um, and now let, let's check out the, uh, the right side of the bike, so I'll, I'll start working on that one. So I'm back with the unit biker for the XR650R. There's this bracket it talks about. wasn't quite sure. I didn't even know there was a bracket. This goes in there like that and it holds this part right here holds against a rubber bushing down there now getting that out with the radiator attached is pretty difficult but notice the hole is too small for this to go back in it says to reinstall it so I drilled it out with a uh, 27 64, yeah, it's probably not going to, right there, as you saw, 27, 64, drill bit, perfect size. So, the truck is going to be getting, well, getting this and we'll slide in now because I was wondering what was going on, and I know it said bracket, and I was looking all over for what it meant. So, um, getting that in and then being able to get this to go back in. Maybe it would be easier going back in, I don't know. But that's a little tidbit. So again, you do your lower bar, mid, and upper across the front. Put it on and then do your, your next ones. The fan is in the way in one, so I'm going to see if I what I do here. So, I'll be back with more tips. Well, I'm back once again. 
It's the XR650R and the Unibiker uh, radiator guards. Now for my application with the fan, I'm not going to run the crossbar back there. And I'm not running the two middle bars that join everything together because it looks like it's just a pain a butt to get back there. I don't know, maybe it's because my radiator are slightly askew and maybe that's kind of has things off a little. But I mean, to get those little bars within this tight area on either side, I mean, without the fan here, I could get my hand there a little bit better. But I really want the fan. I don't want to dick around with the fan. So I'm just going to uh, do without. Remember though, I'm running the IMS Products 7 gallon tank, which I do think it does hit on the back of the fan slightly, so I do a little bit of modification here to the tank. But, you know, otherwise, pretty happy. I mean, it's still solid. It's still on there, and plus with that tank with the fairings, it's not going to squish in. I mean, this is still very, very solid. I mean, that's all the gas gas attaches to is two screws. It doesn't have any cross. I mean, it's fine. I'm not too worried about it. Your call. I, I just also see future of pulling all if I have to pull all that off. Just two more parts I have to get in there and mess around with. So anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and check out my other videos. Thanks for watching.